So do you actually know what's going to happen today? Nope. Not a clue. And you, and you still can't. I know it might be kinky. <laughs> Strapping what up and all what that have stuff. you told these guys? I'm concerned. I've just looked at the that's pictures, sick. that's all. <laughs> well, that's a nice finishing touch. I like the head dress. Oh, they, they're not finished yet. Can I have a feather in there? I might disappoint you now. Thought I'd come out for a few holes. Uh, this is the 15th at the Players. Really nice hole. Uh, it's quite a nice day. It's not too windy, not too cold. Just thought I'd have a few uh, warm-up swings before my lesson with Mark Ball tomorrow. Um, I've not had a lesson with a different coach for many years, so it uh, should be interesting. And he's an expert in biomechanics, so hopefully learn a few things and find out the most efficient way for me to swing the golf club as I start to get a bit older. I think it's all about longevity. Um, there's one thing hitting it 350 when you're a kid but can you hit it 280 when you're 70? This is the challenge. Not that I'm 70 but you know what I mean. So how do you feel when you go to a lesson? I think it's important to not worry about um, hitting bad shots or putting bad swings on things because um, that's the place where you want to see your worst swings and that's where your coach or your head pro really needs to um, see what you're going to do in your, your worst shots and uh, I think that's really important to hit your bad ones in there hit a few good ones obviously if you can and try your best not to suck at any you know but uh, the bad ones are really the ones that you can learn from so hopefully tomorrow I'm going to hit a few stinkers and we can decipher them and see if we can stop those actions when we get on the golf course. Uh, the ball going left as you say you have mm. and that very high wedge shot can be all, all be part of the same movement invariably when we're very inactive through here sure. and very overactive through here you sure. can get very different outcomes yeah oh, why is it high and then why is it going left there must be many things wrong there's not yeah sure there's something happening over here which creates many many responses over yeah. here there's something somewhere that creates all those adjustments. So to get good at this, yeah. we've got to get good at that. Let's yeah. figure out why it goes a bit left and why yeah. the pelvis does what it does and yeah. why the wedge shots do what they do. Yeah. The reality is there'd be something in that non-plural somewhere. There's a reaction to some cause that we start yeah. somewhere. Yeah, absolutely right, absolutely right. So it's a nothing there we can solve. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. So do you actually know what's going to happen today? Nope, not a clue. And you still can't. I know it might be kinky. <laughs> Strapping up and all that. What have you told these guys? I'm concerned. I've just looked at the pictures, yeah. that's all. <laughs> um, I'm going to send you that. We'll, we'll have you play probably about 10 or so shots, and obviously mm -hmm. we'll connect you to the, the system in a second. Yeah. We can kind of start to look at kind of what's happening, um, you know, how you move. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, kind of really we, what we need to adjust to really resolve the questions that you have. So, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's get you connected up and uh, let's, uh, let's see how we can help today. Can I just have you hold those two straps there for me? Thanks, sure. <laughs> it's uh, unfortunate that not that kind of session. Look at this lot. <laughs> well, that's a nice finishing touch. I like the head dress. No, they're, they're not finished yet. Can I have a feather in there? Um, I'm just going to move around your body, Stuart, and find a few reference points. So apologies yeah. for kind of pushing in funny places. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, nice and tall for me, please, and kind of look at the, uh, the, the, the ball there. Just bring that chin down just a fraction. Thank you, Stuart. And uh, with this, hit about probably eight shots. I know we're in a, indoors, so as best you can. I think in his original check on K Bear. Okay, keep going, Stuart. This is good. Yeah, don't look at it. Very good, Stuart. Ooh. I mean, even the environment so can really change behaviours. I mean, you know, Stuart's on camera. Yeah. He's been this one, two, five in the room, so yeah. behaviours can really change as mm. far as uh, yeah, I can uh, how influences movement. So it's, uh, it's a huge thing. I think it's good, isn't it? 
I guess it's the conditions you want to be under, really, because that's what you're putting yourself in. Audiences there. for golf for good, if you think about it. Mm. Mm. So when no one watches you, Tim, it's a problem. Yeah. Okay, what I need here, actually, sorry. Cool. Okay. Let's come around this way then, chaps and ladies, and we can have a little discussion. Let's yeah, see. <laughs> yeah. Let's just let my eye cast that in. What's that, sorry? <laughs> Everything's just at the target. <laughs> but certainly as far as how you move, that's a pretty fair reflection of kind of typically kind yeah, of one oh, of those yeah. chaps, and that's a pretty, pretty fair. Much yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. But I mean, you can be surprised how behaviours really can shift in this environment. I'm being watched, I'm just kind of look good, and and the camera's on, and yeah. Yeah, so guys do kind of move differently and uh, kind of give the guys more of a map of maybe 2019 for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if you have to go and play the Open Championship tomorrow, yeah. what will help Stuart win the Open? Hey Stuart, get good at this. Yeah. But to really, um, to really evolve and develop through 2019 for the boys now, yeah. I can really kind of map out the, the real priorities around, hey, Stuart, avoid this stuff, kind of aspire to kind of look at this and just be aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're happy with that, guys, we'll maybe take that approach mm -hmm. though. And uh, at least kind of give you some real, um, yeah kind of direction as far as great I'm looking at I now know what I need to play with and uh, we give Tim and uh, Tim and Ollie the, uh, the much bigger map over time there mm. um, I might disappoint you now no, he's very much doubting <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a very very cool okay. way whatever you're doing yeah. keep doing it oh really okay that's good hence that's, a disappointment yeah. oh really, really? Yeah. Um, I mean <laughs> It's very, very, very close to being very, very good. It probably needs more refinement today. So I think if you're going to look at words and, uh, and feedback for you, um, uh, Stuart, I think it's more refining what you do rather than kind of shifting what you do. Right, okay. Um, I mean, it's extremely close to being exceptionally good. Right. It's just a bit, a little niggly in a few places. But uh, I think certainly someone like you, Stuart, is a very good player, you know, clearly a very smart guy and knows what he's doing. Um, the basis of this stuff is excellent. It just needs a little bit of adjustment. Well, I mean, even that's quite good for me because my main thing is I don't want something big that's going to... Um, like, I want to be a really good senior golfer is what I want to be, and yeah. um, I don't want something that's going to jeopardise that, you know. Yeah. If there's something in there that's a bit nasty, you know. Uh, the kind of feedback you shared at the start of the session that historically there's been kind of lots of this stuff. Yeah. So today I kind of do lots of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think somewhere in the middle, hence refinement, would probably mm. be very, very good for you. Mm -hmm. So like we said at the start, that when you get very inactive through here, mm -hmm. we then get very overactive through here the yeah. boys and I, mm. I call the brain the world's best GPS it's the best mm. navigational system we have you're an extremely good player you know <clears throat> you've got to get here so yeah. how do I get here from how you move in transition mm. it's almost like that's a little challenging yeah well, that kind of works it's oh, a so to get good at this we've got to get good at that yeah which, sure which is for me just being a little more precise around how you move around that and into that hit, mm -hmm. rather than the extremes Tim of historically mm -hmm. that way, currently that way. Yeah, yeah. I think somewhere in the middle would be quite helpful. Yeah, yeah. What I love about him is he rehearses it beautifully. Mm. Yeah. So when he rehearsed to, to Tim and uh, into Oliver, you were saying, "Oh, but kind of Tim's encouragement to move this way." Mm -hmm. So whatever you just did, keep doing that. Yeah. yeah. So what I'd like to play with if you're happy is actually maybe through some feedback today. Mm. But when you move well, mm -hmm. it comes back to what you and I spoke about, to you it means what? So I think, can he do it? Probably most likely yes. Kind of doing what you normally do. Yeah. Um. <whistles> now, I hear two different noises there. <laughs> <laughs> so come back for me. So one's like a little whistle. That's it, that okay. was exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, one was that kind of prolonged tone. Yes. I'll explain what both of those noises mean shortly. They're very, very different bits of feedback. Okay. One means you're kind of close to moving well. Yeah. And one means you move in the existing way. Okay. So one means you're almost. Right. And one means it's probably a bit too much. Okay. Yeah. So the whistle side means you're getting closer to essentially the existing movement. Right. Okay. When the tone comes on, you've kind of gone past what we'd like you to maybe kind of spire towards. So we, we're trying to get one of those noises. Yeah, what I was going to say next is actually okay. we're trying to avoid all sounds. Oh, okay, right. But when you move away, we'll hear nothing. Mm -hmm. So when you approach the tolerance I've given you, it will start mm -hmm. to whistle and we'll say, hey, Stuart, just kind of be aware now. Mm -hmm. When you go beyond that range, right. that beat will come on. Okay. So you can almost say, what's acceptable? You hear the whistle. Yeah. What's the aspiration? Uh -huh. You hear nothing. Nothing. 
So when you move well, <coughs> you'll hear nothing through back soon. Okay. What I want you to play with, though, very much based on the feedback and based on, you know, just where you're at as a player now, um, I'm not going to tell you where that feedback's placed. Sure, okay. I want you to figure out what you have to do. For no noise, or to improve. Okay. Let's see if you can figure out, based on what you now know, you have to adjust what. Again, the what being mm -hmm. your answer. But so it's not how much you rotate them, yeah. it's more how they produce rotation. Okay. So an example, when we could all produce 50 degrees of rotation. Someone yeah. gets there that way, yeah. someone gets there that way. Okay, right. It's how you produce the value all right. is more relevant than the actual value itself. Okay. So I'll hit one, yeah? No, top no. of backswing. Okay. <laughs> right. We need to slow now. Uh, so that means you are close to moving well. Okay. So I'm a bit of a real pain with you. I do apologise. Come back. Very good, by the way. For that right foot. Uh, the right foot is gone square again, is it? And almost using that knee, just the apologies, just that, that knee just track out. For the, so it gives, really opens up that hip joint, only. So from a, uh, a hip joint configuration. Mm -hmm. It gives that joint a lot more space to play with. Right, okay. So what don't you hear? Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay. Is that what we wanted? Yeah. I mean, the short answer is yes, really. Come back again for me. So on this one, deliberately make the beat come on. Do the old, the existing movement. Very good. Come back for me. Now do the new one. Very good. Come back for me. Do the existing one. Come back. Do the new one. God, that is good, isn't it? He's making me look too. This, this, this is good. <laughs> you can come again, sure. <laughs> Got your ball, yeah. <laughs> Different? Uh, yeah. So I, I look at it also then, but I mean, to, to give you some reassurance now, I actually love what you did there. Um, how much your pelvis rotates, and this is where the information can be quite helpful now, is beautiful. Right. It's not how much you rotate, it's how good is the rotation. Sure, sure. It's like saying joint range. You could have huge amounts of joint range, but it's actually quite poor movement. Sure. Yeah. What I look at is how good the quality of the move, how, how good is that rotation. Yeah. That's outstanding. Right, okay. So it's certainly where the, what the values are feeding back, and certainly even through observation. What's feeling back is that the actual quality of rotation <coughs> there is beautiful. Right. So for sure, you may produce a higher value, Wally, uh, doing what you currently do, mm. but it's quite unhelpful rotation. Yeah. You know, you mentioned senior golf. These guys are good. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. These guys are very, very good players. So if you do yeah. well on seniors tour, yeah, what needs to change? Well, I think I've got to be as good as I can be. Yeah. You know, and so I sort of about improve, but I wouldn't play if I couldn't keep getting better. Right. We'll do that once again. So, yeah. on this next one, deliberately mm -hmm. <clears throat> make the beat come on. Okay. Move closer. <laughs> the rest of this lady almost moving well. Oh, right, okay. But do a real naff job, so do a pretty horrible job for me. That's. There you go, good. Oh, that's the beat. <laughs> that's not what for. Yeah. <laughs> and now do a good example for me. Very good. And I can assure you, based on what I'm seeing, that you have more than enough rotation from that position. Can that win the Open Championship? Absolutely, yes. I'll take that. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you I'll rotate that, that, that amount of rotation could win the Open Championship. It's a reality. Really? That's a good sound bite, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You've got to that keep, is, keep that, that in your head. It's a move. The movement's about being good enough. Yeah. Mm. What's good enough to win the Open, that? Very good. What's, um, <laughs> what's good enough to be pain free? That. What's good enough to be super powerful? That. Right, yeah. So it's about being good enough. Yeah. Right, yes. That's all you have to be good enough. Mm. Good enough to win the Open is about doing what? That's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Should we hear some? Yes, let's try. So, my question to you is let's say you play some shots and at all times avoid that noise. <laughs> what's acceptable is yeah. the whistle, uh -huh. gold medal, uh -huh. silence. <clears throat> come on, Stenson. Yes! <laughs> kind of come crashing down. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Both? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It really then demands yeah. more from the lumbar. 
watch Do If Do Know and Love, it's about moving well through good code, mm. good signals, not by. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I love what you do. I actually think you do a really neat job. And that's yeah. why I say to you, I've actually been very honest there. You just need a bit of refinement. Yeah. Well, I think with you, it's just around a bit of refinement, and I then map out for the boys. I'll actually do it um, later for Timmy if you're happy. As far as, okay, so what next? Well, mm. It's mapped through 2019 now. Yeah. Two things in particular, I think, could really be helpful. Helpful for you uh, as far as really helping you, you know, the aspirations seem to all goals. Yeah. So uh, I'll share some stuff with you guys afterwards. Amazing. It's good. Happy. It's good. Yeah, man. Absolutely. My well, absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Let's, uh, let's get you, uh, let you rejoin the human race and disconnect you. <laughs> Uh, so this is a mark ball. So it's 3D mark ball 3D golf, is it? Yeah. Is, is that your website? .co.uk. Mark ball 3D.co.uk. Right. Uh... I'll link it below. So that's cool. Uh, we've just gone through uh, my lesson, and um, Mark's given me loads of tips, which I can work with my other coaches here at Russell My Golf Course. It was amazing. Uh, it's an incredible system that he's made himself. Pretty much, the software is completely your own, and works with many great players. So I'll put his link below, and you can. Hit them up and go down lessons. You do regular for normal humans. Everyone's a human being, so absolutely. <laughs> Everyone's a human. Thanks for the day. My absolute pleasure. Thank Cheers. you, Stuart.